All right. Time to feed these hungry <laughs> Steam Deck fans. They don't take no nonsense. Hello, viewers. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? Well, you know me. You know me. I got news for you. All right, listen to this. Uh, says here, uh, WSL is getting settings, graphical GUI, memory, storage, network improvement, and more. And then, <clears throat> says here, Windows subsystem for Linux, a feature that makes it possible to run Linux on Windows 10 and 11, is getting, getting new feature and improvements. In a new blog post, Microsoft Op Microsoft outlined changes that are coming soon are already available. They include memory, storage, networking improvements, a dedicated a GUI app for WSL settings, dev home integration, and more. In September 2023, WSL received several experimental changes to improve memory, storage, and networking. They include, they include automatic uh, release from WSL back to Windows automatic automatical disk are uh, re reclamation IPv6 support and more now these features are enabled by default in Windows subsystem for Linux then it says uh, Microsoft is also working on a more user-friendly way to customize WSL soon the subsystem will have dedicated GUI app for managing settings with tabs <coughs> Toggle, toggles and categories and more. This will make it easier to tweak WSL and understand what options are available on your machine and what are not. Microsoft say the new app will be fully compatible with a WSL config a text file, so that so that it will respect your respect your existing uh, setting and preference. Then. It says here, uh, uh, WSL is also uh, enterprise friendly thanks to zero trust approach. Starting today, its IT admins can enforce conditional access scenarios based on the state of a specific Linux distro. In July and August, Microsoft Entra ID will be integrated with WSL, which means Microsoft authentication will be able to communicate with WSL so that users can log in with their intra uh, ID uh, credentials and then says here finally uh, WSL is coming to dev home allowing users to work with Linux distros from the environments tab you can already try it by downloading the extension from the github and a few in a future update will make it part of the dev home app Microsoft also reminds reminds about sudo for sudo for Windows <laughs> which is now open source and and the ability to create Linux uh, dev environment using AI in dev home the latter is available as a part of the latest dev home preview update and it said you can learn more about the latest improvement from w, WSL in the official blog post. I will leave all the links in the description box. Now, we have one, we have one comment here, so I can pull it up. One comment from the commenter. Oh, here we go. He says, somebody, somebody says, uh, why not just, what, why not just a WSL tab in the app settings? Hmm. That's a good point make things more more user friendly anyway then another person here says uh, that was Che Max Max said this keep it simple I would think especially since the setting app between 10 and 11 are quite different even defenders isn't integrated has its own setting apps knowing and I mean keeping all the dev, keeping all the developers stuff in dev home makes more sense personally since that kind of what it that's that kind of what it's for anyway uh, and also and it's also available on both Windows 10 and 11 
won't need to maintain two different versions doing the same thing. <laughs> okay, Mike. Okay, Microsoft. I hope you're listening. Hmm. So I guess when Microsoft went to that little seminar that Linux had, I guess they were trying to learn learn more about the Linux environment, and now they're trying to work with them. Well, change is good, you know. <laughs> but uh, Microsoft, listen to the users, you know. Take that take that comment serious, uh, and add it add it to the next update. Cause somebody he said Chase said this. Why not just why not just a WSL tab in this in the set in the settings app? That's one. That should be a new feature. And then Max Max says again, keep it simple. I would think, especially since the setting app between 10 and 11 are quite different. Even Defender isn't integrated as its own setting app. Keep all the developer stuff in Dev Home. That makes sense. That's a nice uh, feature. Another option or feature or feature number two. <laughs> and then he says, uh, make more sense personally since that kind of what it is for anyway and it's also available on both Windows 10 and 11 won't need to maintain two different versions doing the same thing so on the next update Microsoft mm -hmm. hope you guys are listening so the users want some um want some want these fin new features implemented into uh, uh, WSL so yeah um, Mike, Windows and Linux working good together. So they bring, they're bringing, um, they're bringing uh, improvement to memory, storage, network. Let's see, memory, no, to graphical user interface, memory, storage, and network improvements. And yeah. <clears throat> what else? And anything else? And it says an automat and automatic this uh, reclamation IP IPv6 support <laughs> and more and yeah Windows and Linux working together to make the world go around this let's see here to make the world world more simpler hmm. let's see uh, what else um, see if I can pull this up. Yeah. Hmm. It says memory memory processor personal personal count memory size swap swap it says swap uh, size swap file location. Well <coughs> Improvement between Windows and Linux are getting better, so yeah. Microsoft and Linux, man, and, and uh, Linux. <clears throat> Anything else on this? Let's see, yeah, close. Oops. So I close this. Close it. Close it. That's that. So anyway, Windows and Linux working good together. So on the next update, I'll let you guys know. But they brought a lot of improvement, and that should help you users that use uh, uh, the WSL. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek. Oh, dark side. Oh, peace.